Hey guys, um, I wanted to solve a problem I was having, which was not having a spotter sometimes when I'm shooting past 500 yards. And um, I think the only way that you can accomplish that potentially is having someone or having a device that can record the footage in high resolution um, to see if you can spot vapor trail. And um, and also if I wanted to capture any long distance footage from my Vortex Razor 2, uh, I found that uh, there's no really no easy way to mount your phone to um, the optic. Um, so I'm gonna try this, this is Snap Zoom and I'll let you know how it works out. Um, let me put this together and see if I cap can capture any good footage. So it looks like this comes uh, pretty well packaged. Instructions it says here, if your lens is too close to the edge, it uses the extra pad on the right on the so side of the arm. Come to this metal slide for something. Um, unscrew. Screwdriver. I'm not sure what this ball type thing is, but I'll figure that out. All right, so I, I set it up on my Vortex and um, used several different phones. I have um, two iPhone 6s, uh, one in a case, one without a case. I use my old S4, um, even my iPhone 4S. And um, I mean, it, it's pictured here, but the problem is you see this spot right here and here? It corresponds exactly to where the power and volume buttons are, which as soon as you tighten the red knob down, it, it um, you know, nullifies your ability to use those buttons or it turns the device off if you shake it. And I couldn't get it to line up properly, even though it says here that, you know, that you can use up to a 3.67 device or a two point, as, as far down as 2.717 inches. The problem I was having was there's no adjustment left to right. So um, when it, when my razor was at its highest focus, I was getting this black line from this edge of that hole. If they just widen that hole a tiny bit, I would have more adjustment left to right. Um, so, I mean, it seems like such a big, easy fix. And the other thing they could do is, instead of having, I mean, I thought about cutting the foam out on the holders, because the holders have this foam strip that runs across there, that are cutting out that piece there and here to uh, give give some space for the, sorry, that's my dog, by the way. Um, give, give it some space from hitting the buttons. Um, but, you know, you know, there's too much fidgeting. I've not been happy with sort of any Digiscope adapter. This is probably the best of the, of the ones I've used. It has, you know, an easy adjustment there, and there's a black knob behind there to tighten it down onto the eyepiece. So, I mean, it, it works. It just, the limitation is, in adapting um, a phone to, you know, an eyepiece which has a, a, a different eye relief. So I, I just wish in version 2.0 what they would do is, like I said, open this this vertical slit a little bit wider, especially on this side, or just you know I don't know maybe make a big circle like right, just widen this a lot. Then it gives the end user the ability to slide the phone left to right. Um, um, and, and not have a black edge when at max zoom. Um, what else? I don't know. I had a, th I 3D printed a, D a GG scope mount for my S4 and it, that works great, but it, it, it's too fidgety and, um, um, you know, was vulnerable to falling apart. I don't know. It, it, it worked good. It just, um, oh, my light went off. Anyway, so I would say not a bad product, just not what I expected or wanted, um, especially for field use. Thanks for watching.